Testing, testing, one, two. Welcome. Welcome to the podcast. I still have some cadets. We're having a good time today. It's a nice long day at the Kiss Bay Boys and Girls Club. And um, we're just going to introduce ourselves and talk about what's going on in the world. So from my left to my right, please say your name and your age. Your name and your age. Hi, my name is Allison. Hi, you Allison. Nice. How old are you, Allison? I'm nine. Nine years old. Hi, my name is Rachel and I'm nine years old. Okay, Rachel is nine. Next. Hello, my name is Leon Rodriguez and I'm and I'm six years old. Yeah, you got a backwards nine. Upside down nine. So you got <coughs> two, two nine year olds and one six year old. All right, guys. <laughs> what's going on? Let's let's what are we gonna talk about? Come on, somebody bring up a topic. Let's talk about it. <laughs> what do you want to talk about, Liana? I want to talk about all my things that I love to do with my family. Oh, like, I love to do all stuff with my family. What and do you like to do with your family? I love to, I like, I love to, I love to, I like to, I like to eat with my family. That's important. Um, and I love to clean with my family. Okay. And I love to sing with my and I like to sing with my family. Okay. That, which is I'm doing right now. Singing. What else? What else you guys like to do with your family? I like to go I on like vacation. Yeah. I like to go on vacations and Yeah, those are good. Vacations are good with the family. And having like celebrating weddings and stuff. Oh, that's nice. Celebrations. Yes. What about you? Yesterday Saturday, Saturday and Sunday. Um, my my whole family, we all went to Pennsylvania at my aunt's house. Nice. So you had a little family reunion in your aunt's house. A lot of people you haven't seen for a while. Um, so that's that's pretty. That's a lot of fun. What else? What else do you want to? I just want to talk about. I like I like doing a lot of things with my family. Pretty. Um, I'm going um pumpkin picking in, in. I think next week. Yeah, maybe next week. The next holiday that we have, we're going pumpkin picking and apple picking and stuff like that. That's, that's a lot of fun. And it's kind of like a little tradition that me and my wife have. We have a certain amount of people that always go. Um, and we have pictures on the same tree as the kids get older and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. So pumpkin picking is a is a big deal in my fam. I also love um, celebrating my family's birthdays. Oh, yeah. My, my younger me daughter. Too. My younger daughter loves birthdays. On um, Saturday, my brother turned 14 and we went to Dave and Buster's. Oh, man. Dave and Buster's. Games all day. You ate over there, too? Digits. Yeah. Okay. So you ate and you played games. And we also ate cake when we came back. He had a, he had a wonderful birthday. Mm-hmm. Anybody else? What's the best birthday someone had? Um, my, what was yours, sweetie? Well, it's mostly mine. It's because... It's because I love parties a lot. It's because okay. sometimes they gave me th- th- when it was my birthday. Some people gave me the the things that I wanted, and some of them did not. But I still liked it either way. Okay. Well, sometimes people give you surprise gifts, which is nice. And then sometimes you say, "Daddy, I want you know, or mommy, or maybe auntie or uncle, whatever. I want a bike." And then you might you might get a bike. But sometimes people give clothes and money and other stuff. So any gift. I'll be rich if I have a lot of hundred thousand money. A I'll lot, a lot of. I mean, rich. any gift that someone gives you is is you have to be thankful for that. Um, I know. Well, I when it was my birthday, I mean Christmas, I asked for a piano, but like my mom said I couldn't have it because it was a lot of money. But she actually lied to me. So then I wouldn't know that my godmother was going to get me a piano, so she surprised me. Okay, well, now you got a piano. Now you got to learn how to play. Um, What else? What was was something great, one of your favorite gifts somebody gave you? It's once I asked my mom to get me this thing I wanted so much, so much because um, I never um, got everything I wanted, so... When she said, when I called her on the phone, she I told her if she got it, and she said she didn't. But then when she got home, she surprised me, and she had it. Ooh, surprises are good. Whenever you, whenever someone tells you, oh, no, you're not going to get it, and then you get it, you're like, I knew it, I knew it. <laughs> you, start, you, know, usually you get very happy. I knew. Anything else you guys want to talk about? I want to talk about how, um, in my brother's birthday, about my brother's birthday. Okay, when was his birthday? I mean, 
I, w- I want to talk about how my bu- my friend Mariah had a birthday party at school. Oh, they do birthday parties in school? Yes. You, you can't cut the cake or none of that stuff, right? Yeah, we can. Oh, they do? Okay. Some, some schools don't do that. And you only have Plastic cupcakes. Nights. No yeah, cake. some some schools do like cupcakes or cookies or or stuff like that, so they don't have to worry about cutting the cake the, and, and, the and all ca- that. In the cafeteria, I mean, in the kitchen for the cafeteria, they have knives. Okay. Um, what else you want to talk about, guys? <laughs> What's on your mind? I, whatever, so if somebody gives me something that I don't want, mm-hmm. they they could use the same thing. They they could use. They could use the same thing that they that they already gave to me that I didn't want anymore and make and recycle it and make and now make, we talk and about make a, and make a gift for somebody else and make another thing for for a friend that. that oh, that I understand what you're saying. Like if like if they gave you something that you already had and then and then you could um you could take the the gift that you yeah. already had and maybe pass it on to somebody else as a gift or something like that. That's nice. I mean, some people do that no, recycling I mean, stuff. That's cool. No, I'm saying recycle it and then give it back to the person that that they, that they had the same thing and then and then make the same toy that they already had. I think into I got your point. Toy. I think or I got your point. Or you could just return it. You can return it. You could, you know, like if they gave you a shirt that you already had, you can give it to your sister. If they gave you markers and you already got a whole Cray- uh, Crayola marker collection. set or whatever collection, you can give it to your aunt, give it to your cousin, just keep it like for, that. Yeah, just for you know, extra. Give, give, yeah. give it to somebody else that could enjoy it. I have a cousin. She's here today. Yeah. Um. What else? What else? What's going on, guys? Uh, uh, how was your day today? You all had dance. Yes. Yes. You had. You had the teacher ba- with Mr. Eddie. We learned ballet. You learned ballet today. Okay. I came late, so I didn't Oh, so you missed out. Much. I think they're. Gonna, I think they're gonna have ballet again after this. So you might have another shot. Um, what about you? No, don't worry about your earring. Put the headphones on. No. Um, okay. So, is that all? Nobody else wants to talk about anything. Um, I want. I wanted to talk about um I wanted to talk about how um in the, in Come on. This is not your first time doing the podcast. You know that if you gotta give a little stutter or you or you mess up a couple of times, I'll give you the womp womp. That means come on, take a breath and let's talk about it. It's not that hard. All you do all you're doing is talking. That's all you're doing. Go ahead. Try it again. I actually and when I was in school in Friday, um, my teacher she was, um, she was going to, she was going to do a party for us, but like she forgot it, and then my the principal came, and then she bought us a lot of things for the party. Okay, so you had a a pre om two party that your teacher was trying to help you with. All right, well. If nobody else has nothing to say, I got um a couple of more kids. You guys sign us? What are, what are you gonna say? I wanna talk about that. Um I don't like when people start problems and then they ask other people questions and about it and then they try to get them inside the problem. Yeah, that's that's uh, you know, we call that in, in Spanish we call it starting a bochinche. Um <laughs> in, in English is it might be like, you know, he says she said type of thing. Um I would say always avoid that. If someone, if you're in a little circle and someone is, um, you, let's say you're friends with Liana and someone and Liana's not there, but one of your friends is talking about her, you should be, look, I don't want to hear this because Liana's my friend and walk away because you don't want to get involved with, oh, she said this one that said this one, this one said that. And then, oh, but you didn't even defend me. You were there. You didn't say nothing. So just avoid all that stuff. You guys are nine years old. You should be in you six years old. You should be in no, he said, she said, you should be dancing. Uh, digital arts, going to gym, you know, doing something creative with yourselves. Oh, and I also want to talk about uh, um, how we celebrated my birthday. All right, well, happy birthday. Unfortunately, I got a couple of more kids that want to do podcasting, so um, let's give everybody a chance. Um, thank you very much for showing up. Thank you very much for trying, and um, we're out of here. Bye. Check, 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 one, two, one, two, check, 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 check,
I'm not going to do it right now. I'm doing something else. And we're out.